For this video, what I want to do is show you how to find a rectangular equation. And then we're also going to state the appropriate inter interval for x and y. And the interval for t that we are going to find this on is from negative infinity to positive infinity. All right, so what we have here is the parametric equation that x equals t plus 4 and y equals 2t squared. So we have x and y both defined in terms of t. So what we want to do is we want just one equation that contains x and y. So what we want to do is look at the two equations and figure out which one is it going to be easier for us to solve for t. And the linear equation is always going to be the easier one to solve for. So if I solve for t, what I would do is move the 4 to the other side. So I would end up with t equals x minus 4. And now I'm going to take this equation, x minus 4, and I'm going to plug it in for t into the other equation. So I would end up with y equals 2 times x minus 4 squared. And for the most part, um, most of the time, you would be able to write this as your final answer. If you wanted to, you could expand this out. And you could say that y equals 2 times x minus 4 um, times x minus 4 if you needed to show the work because I have a lot of students that always forget that when you're squaring this that you have to have the outside and the inside and they forget to do that when they have that in the form written above. So just to repeat what you have to do with this, um, we would then take and multiply x times x is x squared. I have a negative 4 and a negative 4, which gives me negative 8x in the middle, and then plus 16. And my final step, that if I wanted to expand it, write it in expanded form, we would just say that y equals 2x squared minus 16x plus 32. So either form is an acceptable answer or a rectangle. Uh, a rectangular equation that is an acceptable answer for this parametric equation. The last thing that I want to do is discuss what x and y are. So if we look at this, when I plug in negative infinity to infinity, there are no restrictions on what I can plug in for t here because I can square any number and I can add 4 to any number. So um, when I'm plugging in these values here, there are no restrictions. The same thing goes for here. Um, for my x coordinate, I can square any number. So the domain or my x values, okay, is going to either be in set notation x such that um, x has to be greater than negative infinity, and that's supposed to be an in infinity. Sorry, I didn't leave myself enough room. Okay, up to positive infinity. Okay, or you can just write it in interval form, negative infinity to positive infinity, which is probably easier. Okay, the range on this one, you do have to think about it. The range, what's going to happen is when I plug in any value, whether it's positive or negative, and I square it, it's going to give me a positive value. So my y values are going to be y such that y has to be greater than or equal to zero. And where the zero comes from is remember that I'm really adding zero here, so that's my starting point um, on my y-axis, okay, at the vertex at four zero, okay. Or I could have written it in interval notation as zero up to positive infinity. So with this, because of the fact that we ended up with a parabola, our domain, I can find any value I can plug in for x, but my range, the output is going to only be zero or above. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.